Gonna have some footage for the uh, no. no. You know, 15 years ago, they had these oh, big blocks of metal on. All right, guys, guess what? I bought a pallet. Uh, man, I've been working all day today. Uh, been working at my store all day, and then I went to a place and bought a whole uh, cart full of stuff. And everything was 80% off. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna shoot a video of that too on a different day. But I just had to walk two blocks to get to my storage or my office and uh, I've made about six trips up here with the cart and like I said I had to walk two blocks each time at least I'm in a downtown area there was a lot of parking already you know taken up but uh hey who wants to see the pallet the Salvation Army uh, they have a pallets there for $200 uh, and it was half off day so I got it for a hundred bucks uh, unlike the Harry Tornado pallets they had pictures of what was in it so, and they said all the stuff had been tested and stuff, so we'll find out. I'll go ahead, I mean, I'll test it again, but uh, just off the top of my head here, I see, or top of the pallet, I see like uh, some head, some stereo receivers. There was a VHS DVD combo. There's more boxes over here, some glassware. There's some stuff over here. But uh, let's dig in, let's see what we got. He said for a hundred bucks. All right, once again, I apologize that I am sweaty. It's 80 degrees here in my office. Uh, we still don't have air conditioning for some reason. But uh, let's get in this pallet. Let's see what we got. I wanted to shoot this video for you guys, man. I'm excited. I've been watching Harry Tornado open up some of his pallets. I guess he bought like 28 pallets. He got a better deal than I did, but uh, let's see what we got. I guess this is some Avon. I don't think Avon's worth anything. But it's cute. Maybe a dollar or two at the flea market or something. Another one of these little Avon things. This is a fake candle. Looks like somebody... I don't know. That's going in the trash probably. <laughs> it looks like somebody melted it or something. There's another fake candle, but uh, it looks in good shape. It might be a dollar at the flea market or something. There's a little basket. Seems like all these uh, things have baskets in them, the stuff I've been watching. Uh, manual for writers. Adolescence isn't terminal book. I haven't looked any, scanned any of these things. 2001 Amazing Cleaning Secrets. There we go. That might come in handy. If I only cleaned. Ah, you guys saw my video. I did clean a little bit. Hey, we got the uh, complete second season of The Walking Dead. I can sell that. Some phone case. Another phone case. Oh! No idea. But I got two of them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what those are. I guess the decorations, maybe? Seem like they're metal. They said, I don't think these Avon things are worth any money. But uh, it's like a car. I think they're empty. I don't smell anything. Well, of course, I can't smell very well anyway. I have no sense of smell. <laughs> it could smell really bad. I don't know. Hey, we got a little rabbit. I said that might be that might be a dollar at the flea market or something. Another phone case. Another uh, Avon car. Like I said, I might put those out for like a dollar or something. Somebody might want them. I think they're cool looking. I just don't think they're worth a lot of money. Oh, this one's nice. Avon Fantastic. 
It's kind of cool. Woo, we got a mirror. You get to see my nice chair over there that I bought. Hey, there you are. How you guys doing? <laughs> I want to introduce you to my friends. Hey, there you go. Hi, guys. Another uh, mirror. What the heck is this? Piranha wallpaper scouring tool. Don't know what that is. I guess it's some kind of scouring tool. Uh, I can't look it up right now because my phone is being used to record the video. But anything that's new dead stock, even if it's like as simple as this, I always scan it because you never know. I mean, that might be a $10 piece. They might not make those anymore, and it might be the best scouring tool ever made, you know? Hey, I can have a fish in the office now. I'd never do that to a fish. <laughs> they don't want to live here. Another one of the mirrors. Another car. 55 Thunderbird. Some kind of a uh, Christmas house. That might be good here for the, for the shop. So I get in the festive spirit. There's some new DVDRs. Just had a friend of mine asking for some the other day. I'll give those to him. Another phone case. Uh, another mirror. Once again, I apologize if it's too loud. I got the fan running. As I said, it's just 80, it's 80 degrees in here, and it's just too hot to do this without the fan. Uh, oh, it's a TENS machine. If that works, I'm going to keep that. I have a chronic pain in my back, so... I don't know if this will help at all or not. Probably not. It's getting dark in here, so I try to turn on a light. Classic mythology, that might be a good one. I'll look that up. Looks like a nice little soap dispenser. Made in China, so it's probably not worth anything. Little thing to put your toothbrush in with it, I guess. Look like some kind of uh, some kind of oh carolers. So it looks like maybe we're going to be the most festive office in, in the state. We've got all kinds of festive stuff. What the heck is this? Oh, is it an angel? Cupid? It's like a pennant. I've never seen one of those before. The other one is got a couple of these vases i know nothing about glass but they don't look anything special i think this is like a brownie pan thing because I, I bought one of these for my mom a few christmases ago i don't know if these doilies are worth anything but now we got like I don't know, a ton of these doilies there's more in the box Faith, hope, love, what families are built on. That's a nice little piece. Yeah, that's something I could probably get $5 for at the flea market, maybe. Here's a nice, uh, it's not broke either. It's new, never been opened. Uh, 16 by 20. Yeah, that's probably, it's probably worth 10 or $15. Oh, here we go. A brand new Disney sealed oh here we go again brand new lion king sealed there's an open alice in wonderland there's dumbo this is all this is all disney disney films uh don't see any more new ones the new ones i could sell for maybe ten dollars or so but here's a whole thing of all disney so those will sell i sell those for 
about two dollars a piece at my store for the Disney ones. So I'm a media seller, so I don't mind having those. These new ones, these two new ones might go for like ten, fifteen dollars, maybe on eBay. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. If they do, I'll put them on eBay. I thought this was nice. Uh, Fitz and Floyd Santa Mobile Music Musical. Not sure if it's worth anything or not, but I'll look it up. It's nice. I really like it. We got a Hamilton Beach indoor grill. I'm not sure if it's new or not. I think they told me it was new. I'm not sure. Still in its packaging and stuff. What do we have there? It's a Pioneer. I think it's a Pioneer head unit. Pioneer stereo receiver model SX240. That might that's gotta be worth something. Pioneer's usually a pretty good brand. I'll look that up. That's one of the things that made me want to buy the pallet. Some of these receivers can be pretty valuable. And Pioneer's, I mean it's not. It's not a great brand like Marant, like Marantz or something, but uh, I mean it's a pretty good brand. I hate plush, but there's little Beaver. Hey Ward, I think hello. You've heard the joke, Hey Ward. We won't say it though. Ooh la la. Look at that. I love you. We're just getting overflown with stuff right now. Uh oh. I don't know if this is broke or can go back in there or not. I'll have to get some batteries and test this. But it's a cool little dome clock. I don't know what this thing does. I flipped it and it, it moved. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Peekaboo bear. Some kind of vegetable plate. Another kid plate. Cardboard letters and numbers. These might be alright. I think they're... I think they're taped. I don't know if that's factory tape or not. But cardboard letters and numbers. Got some bags. Sesame Street bags. It's the big one, coffee mug, little bell, all the stuffed animals. Eyes are too bad to see what this says. It says fine china, like Harmony, Harmony House maybe, I think. I don't know if that's going to pick up or not. But uh, I know absolutely nothing about china. But there's a little thing there, a little thing here, a uh, platter. I really don't feel like opening all this right now. This is all kinds, I mean, there's just, it's a whole box. Full of this stuff. There's another like serving dish. There's plates, there's everything. Uh, cups, saucers, all kinds of stuff in there.
So we'll look that up when we get a chance. We'll see if it's worth anything. That might might pay for the whole thing. Who knows? It might be worth a dollar. I don't know. I know nothing about China. We got this uh, Queen comforter set. It's really pretty, but I don't think I'd ever use anything from a thrift store. I don't know. Somebody might. I hope this is uh, recording right. They told me this was brand new. This is a DVD player, Memorex. Yeah. It's still all wrapped up and stuff. I'll still test it to make sure, but I can probably sell this for 20 bucks at my store, maybe 30 bucks. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Here's another DVD player with the remote. Didn't look that up. It's a Philips HDMI. I'm guessing bare minimum $10 at my store. So right there's $30 on my 100 back right there. We got Eat, Pray, Love. We got robots. We got some more, uh, some more VHS films. They're all kids. Some kind of World War II DVD set, 40 movies. That's probably $10 at my store. The reason I bought it because I saw there was a lot of media. I don't know this movie. This might be out of print. I don't know. Land Speed with Billy Zane. Man on Fire, The Seventh Brother. This is junk. Open Season. Spider Man, Religious. Uh, Broken Bridges. That sells pretty well. Stream Ops. Green Beret sells well. It'll be about $6. Donnie Brasco. Charlie Wilson's War. Guy, I think I got a thousand of those. Narnia. Bittersweet, that might be all right. I don't get too many of those in. Spy Game, Casino Royale, Hunger Games, I got tons of those though. Cars, that's a good one, that's probably about $6. Professional, Butterfly Effect, U.S. Marshals, King Streets, Three Collectors of Van Damme, that'll be a good one, that'll probably be about eight bucks. Tin Cup. Bonus material of the Indiana Jones. The Unforgiven uh, Wrestling. That would be pretty good. Lucas for Love of the Game. Bloodwork. Pirates of the Caribbean. Broken Bridges again. Scream Ops again. Uh, Spider-Man 3 Blu-ray. The Quiet American. Rio Bravo. That will be about $6. Some uh, computer game. More VHSs. We have more VHSs, more VHSs. Yeah, these aren't too bad. Most of these DVDs, you know, I'll get a bare minimum of $2 a piece at my store, you know, if they sell. So I'll make all my money back just on the DVDs. That's what I figured. Anything I make beyond the DVDs will just be, will just be gravy. Here's a, uh, some kind of porcelain doll. Collectible. I have no idea. Duck House. I don't know. I have to look that up, see if it's anything. Might be a dollar, it might be fifty dollars. I don't know. Can't tell if this is I don't think it's factory sealed. But it's a puzzle. Maybe I'll sell that for a buck or two at my store. I'm not gonna pull all these out. But it's a whole box of books. Romance novels. Got like fifty cents a piece for those at the store, maybe. Alright. I think this is the band cover. If you look right here, that's not supposed to look like that. That looks like a naughty thing. So that's why that's a band cover. Uh, 
this is worth maybe five or six bucks. It's not worth a lot. But hey, five or six bucks. There's another uh, sealed one. You know, that might be worth ten bucks. I like the sealed one. Here's a sealed uh, Pearl Harbor. There's Family Man. Some more VHSs. More VHSs. Here's a sealed Enchanted. I might be able to get ten dollars for that. Oh, this is nice. This is a sealed West Wing. Uh, season, fifth season. That'll probably get ten dollars maybe. Lord of the Rings, I got like a hundred of those. And there again, I'm not going to go through all these. Oh, I'll go through this one because that's a sealed one. I'll put that one on eBay. Don't see any more sealed ones, so we'll just show you what we got here. It's more uh, kids' movies and Disney stuff. Like I said, those go for $2 a piece at the store. They sell pretty well. So, I, I, and realistic, realistically, I'll make all my money back on the VHSs. I mean, I'll probably sell $50 for those VHSs, which is crazy because VHSs really don't sell that well. But like I said, at $2, they sell pretty good. Freddy Roach's How to Lose Weight Fast. Simply Guitar. Precious. Freddy Roach again. Uh, I know that girl. All Jillian Michaels. It's sealed. That's nothing much there. Perfect Portions. That looks sealed. That might be a couple dollars at the store. Like, I'll bag these up at my store. These dinosaurs and put like you know, five or six dinosaurs and sell them for like five bucks. Same way with like these little toys and stuff. These Smurfs, I put at my store for like a dollar a piece and the kids buy them. Here. Don't know what this is. It looks like it's for your aquarium maybe. Bottom of your fish tank. This is a sealed Christmas CD. That might be something. New Zealand moss. That's just what you need for your little froggies. This is kind of cool. I don't know if it's old or not, but it's pretty neat looking. There's one more thing in there. I'm over here trying to break it. Uh, the ghost in the White House and me. Might be able to sell that for a couple dollars at the store. I sell goosebumps really well. Oh, this is uh, there's a bunch of canisters in there. There's probably like three of them. That's nice. Might be able to get like five, five or ten bucks for that. It says USA on the bottom, so maybe it's vintage. I don't know. We still have two boxes and some more stuff. Here's a Anoka. Big receiver, man. This thing's huge. I need to look that up. What brand is this? Oh, Panasonic VHS DVD player. I have never seen one this big, man. This thing's huge. I don't know if it works or not. They said they said they tested everything, but we'll find out. Some kind of bag. Feels like it might have a DVD player in it. Oh, wow. Dura brand, never heard of it. Seven inch portable DVD player. Boom, still in the plastic. Uh, yeah, dude, that's that's never been that's never been played. There's there's no wear on that at all. They were telling me there was some nice stuff in here. One of the girls that was help packing it said it was nice. Uh, there's some Cos headsets. There's a remote control in there. There's some power supplies and some cords. I'll look through that more thoroughly later. But that's that's a nice bag too. What's it say? Made stay, mainstays. That's a nice little fake leather bag. Another one of the reasons I bought it. It was a cool Dukes of Hazard model in it. I couldn't tell if it was new or used or whatever. We'll have to look at it a little bit more thoroughly. 
but it looks like you know there's some stuff missing oh look at this we got a Dukes of Hazard card too looks like the engines missing I, know, I might be able to get something for it I mean because most of the cars there and the box is all here and everything plus somebody made this little Hazard County thing and it's got the instructions somebody will give me something for it but yeah too bad it didn't have the the hood or the engine or st and stuff but it's like I said I, it's still worth something I'm sure some some collectors are gonna want to stick that on their shelf just like that. You know. Well that's good and that sucks. One thing good about this is uh this one's new, still sealed. And then there's Return of the Jedi and nothing else. So the trilogy is what I might be able to find three of them to put in there and use the nice box, but these aren't even two to the right trilogy. This is one of the new ones or old ones. This is one of the new ones, not newest ones, but they were nineties. But like I said, I might be able to get something out of this new one. I'll, I'll scan that. Got a shark attack book, some kind of little wooden box, some kind of little metal thing and Glad that's plastic. Oh, there you go. That's the bottom of that. That's why stuff's falling out of it. I think it holds a plant, maybe. Looks like a planter. So one thing I like I like about these pallets is it kind of gets you out of your comfort zone and you have to go research stuff you would never would research ever in a million years. This Panasonic might be to that Panasonic player. It doesn't have a back. But, hey, if, it's got, if it works, it'd be all right. This Pioneer thing goes probably to the... The Pioneer Tuner. Got some candles. Uh, some Dora. Haunted Airmen. Some more VHSs. Wow, look at this. All kinds of Crayola color pencils. That's, those are nice. I might see if my daughter needs those. There's some mechanical pencils. Uh, made in USA. They might be old. I don't know. I'll scan them. It might not be. I know some of the older mechanical pencils do really well. Sippy cup. Don't need that. These might be something. I don't know. These little crochet in theme needles. This stuff all smells like flowery or something. Oh, this is kind of cool. I like that. I can't read it. Looks like, it looks like it's all in German. It's really nice. I don't, well, there is some kind of marking here at the bottom. Looks like it says made. Man, I can't see. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. I don't think the, I don't think it's coming in very well. Hopefully this footage is coming out right. I don't want me to shoot in this area. I don't want me to shoot at night. Story of a Lifetime book. Some kind of puppet. I don't know if this is like a... I don't know. It kind of seems like it's one of those heat up oil kind of things where you put like a some oil in there and it burns it type thing. I don't know. Don't want to kill my stein. That's one of my favorite pieces. Some kind of Sketcher watch. Brand new. Little baby shoes. A couple little bears. Some kind of massager. Clarisonic. No idea what that is. Clarisonic. That might be the most expensive thing I have. Some kind of game or test thing to try to make you go crazy I'm guessing I don't know 
So it looks like some kind of puzzle. There's not much left in here. Pill bottle, little truck. Uh, sport line water resistant stopwatch. That might be all right. I used to feel like a pair of like glasses, like maybe prescription glasses. I don't see a, I don't see a make on them. Yeah, I don't think they're anything great. There's another uh, Skechers watch. I don't know for a hundred bucks. I think it's. I think I'm doing all right. Put in a comment if you guys think I'm going to make my hundred bucks back. See if I want to make anything else. I guess next tax season I'll have a nice little uh, accordion filing system there. My first broke piece. It's a broke uh, clock. A grandparent's record book. Good. It's never been used. There we go. Uh oh. I'm going to get copyright infringement. I'm playing somebody's song. It's probably a monkey's song. But yeah, that's nice. Yeah, this is a nice little box here. Some kind of, I don't know if it's a clock or barometer or something. I think it's a clock. Just some kind of storage containers. Green can be. I don't know what this is. It looks like some kind of camera, like a backup camera maybe or something. It says 1080. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. That might be something. This is cute. Wall accessory. Made by Turner. Uh, girlfriends are just therapists you can drink with. I uh, don't know what this is. I so, uh, thought maybe that might be a magnet or something. I don't, I don't know. Did that come off some kind of light or something? I have no idea what that is. Little like Asian hang up things or something. I can't even get him turned around. Huh. Some kind of little bowl. That's a cute little Easter thing. It says $25 on the bottom. So I might get something out of that. Some kind of clock radio. Blu-ray. Some really cruddy looking DVDs. Uh, let's see. McDonald's five cent burgers. They got McDonald's logo on the bottom too. I don't know. I don't know how old these are. They say it says 1948 on there, but I doubt if they're made in 1948. Here's a Coca-Cola one. There's some more Coca-Cola ones. Uh, here's a McDonald's one. It says 1955 on it. Another. Never seen a Coca-Cola like colored one before. There's another McDonald's one. It says 1997 on it. Cheerios smack container. Oh, snack container. <laughs> I thought it said smack. <laughs> Told you my eyes aren't very good. I don't know what you'd need a smack container for. <laughs> Some kind of classical music. Classical music doesn't sell for me. I don't know about you guys, but I can't sell it very well. What is this? No idea what that is. Some kind of woods thing you plug it in. Don't know what that is. Some little program or planners. Extreme power bank. Maybe this is a charger or something? I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's a charger. 
Somebody really needed a lot of pill things. Man, I've been waiting all day to get these shimmery tights. They were ten dollars. They're Danskin. They, I don't know. Might be good. No idea what this is. An egg, maybe. Cool little ship frame. I know I can always use staples, but those are only you know, they cost a dollar. So nice little bin I could use here at the office. This is just one of those dollar boxes that you can buy anywhere. All right, guys, I want to thank you for uh, watching me go through that pallet. The pallet cost me a hundred dollars. Uh, like I said, I just bought it because I saw all the DVDs and, and VHSs and CDs, and um, I saw those, you know, electronic stuff like the the two receivers and the VHS DVD combo. Those combos I sell for about forty dollars, so uh, that should be forty dollars on my money back right there. But uh, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That's everything I bought. I spent a hundred bucks. I think I did all right. What do you guys think? like subscribe comment let me know what you think and uh, we're going to shoot another video here in a bit about uh, some of the other stuff i picked up today thanks guys hopefully you really enjoyed it have a good one all right guys we're just going to add this uh to the end of the pallet video i stopped at peddler's junction today and a uh, guy was going selling everything 80 percent off uh ended up buying i forgot to bring him up but there was about 20 or 25 hard rock cafe little shooter glasses from all kinds of different cities he had $3 a piece on those, so they were 80% off, so I got them for $0.60 cents a piece. They seem to be selling for about anywhere from $7 or $8 up to $30 or $40, depending on what town they are. If they're a place that aren't around anymore, they're more desirable. Or if they're like Jamaica or like, you know, places other than like Cleveland. But uh, here's some other stuff I picked up. Like I said, just, just remember I picked up like 20 of those shot glasses I'm also. tired to go down to my car and grab those things anyway we grabbed uh one of those things ballasts for light fixtures there's 10 of them in here he was selling them for five bucks a piece so that means i have a dollar a piece in them and there's 10 of them so i paid ten dollars for the box i could probably sell this box for about eighty dollars shipped so maybe even 99 dollars or if i pieced them out i could sell them for ten dollars plus shipping Anyway, it was pretty good. I think it will be a pretty good flip. I don't know how well they sell, but it wasn't a whole lot to risk. These, made in Taiwan, that means, uh, usually means it's kind of old. I know uh, he'd bought out like a plant that closed down like 20 years ago, so I think these are pretty old. They're old, new, dead stock. Uh, these are uh, blades. Yeah, here we go. 240 saw blades and he had sixty dollars on them so i ended up getting them for twenty percent of that so what is that twelve bucks so i had about a nickel a piece in these saw blades so if i sell them for you know ten of them for twenty five dollars shipped that means i'll be able to sell like twenty four lots like that probably cost i don't know eight dollars to ship that means i'm going to make fifteen dollars times eight it's a lot of money for 12 bucks. And then down here, he had 200 saw blades. These are big saw blades. These are new, uh, they're for bow blades. But I ended up having like two cents a piece in those. There was 200 of them for four bucks. Couldn't pass up on that. Like I said, they're probably slow sellers, but anytime I, I, I get something that cheap and they're brand new old stock, I gotta give it a shot. I uh, bought these Coke magnets, new old stock, for 20 cents a piece. I bought these, I'd never seen these before, Matchbox Burger King. I ended up getting these for like 20 cents a piece. I'll sell these for like $1.99 at the store. Just thought they were cool. Picked up this Hulk for like two bucks. I'll put that for like six bucks at the store. Because he had uh, 10 bucks on it. No. Yeah, two bucks. 20% or 80% off. Uh, these cars, he had them for eight bucks. I got them for a dollar sixty, so I'll just throw them in my my car bin for like a dollar a piece. I'll see if there's any, you know, 
expensive ones or red lines or anything like that. I know that Hardy's one's pretty old. I think that was around when I was a kid in the 80s. I uh, got all these CDs for 20 cents a piece. There was nothing great in there, but this is stuff that I left behind before. And I figured I'll get a couple bucks out of each. And a uh, PlayStation 2 game I paid 40 cents for. So, uh, like I said, I picked all that stuff up. And all those glasses it ended up being a total. It was $258 for everything. And I ended up paying like $54 after the discount. So... I should get $54 out of just a couple lots of those saw blades. Or I'll, I'll make $50 to $5 profit just on this. And all this other stuff will be profit, you know. That's the way I like to buy things. Especially, you know, like this stuff when you just have pennies on the dollar. I mean, even if I sold those for a dollar a piece. I mean, there's 200 saws in every single one of those boxes. That's like 400 saws right there. What is that? One has like 240 in it and the one has 200. That's 440 saws, dollar a piece. That's two, you know, two, what, uh, 440 dollars? Holy crap! So, uh, wow, that's crazy. So, hopefully, I'll make some money on that. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one. Peace. All right, I forgot to tell you, I got these two uh, binders of football cards. Also, he had them marked for ten dollars. There's a bunch of cards in there. They're not really worth anything, but uh. I just thought they were kind of neat. I've been wanting to get some more cards to try to get autographs. So I ended up getting two those for $2 a piece.